Ian, we're just about to enter the Autumn International Series for all the home nations. Um, looking at selection, will that have a bearing on the Lions party? I think it will in the widest context, Scott, because you, as, a, as a coach, you want to be see who's playing well, because in the end, I think the Lions is about performance and it's about talent being out there, playing well, playing with confidence. And the autumn tests give you that first indicator of the players you'd like to follow up in the Six Nations. So if a player lays down a mark in the autumn test, he's kind of, he gets into your first column, does he? Yeah, he does. He, you know, I think um, it's important that you are making some calls uh, of just who you want to keep an eye on. Uh, I know the last time I did it, it we'd probably a list of 80, 85 players. Really, that uh, many? Yes, yeah. But there were ones that you're saying, yes, I can see in him something that we maybe want to pick out later in the Six Nations or see, see how he plays under different circumstances. So the influence of the Autumn Internationals would then take you through to the Six Nations. Just talk us through that process and whether the influence of Autumn Internationals will have a bearing on Six Nations or whether it is when you select on form during the Six Nations. Well, it's a little bit of both. That, that You've got the indicator from the autumn tests. So you've the 80, 85 players, and you do it by position. So you'd maybe have one to five. Some positions you might have one to seven. Um, if, if there's players there that you think, yep, there's something in there I'd like to see a little bit more of. The other thing you've got to take into account is the sort of rugby you want to play in the test series, to win the test series. So you're looking at chemistry in players as well and, and what one player might bring out of another and that starts to influence you more and more.